I, Jody Wilson-Raybould, will be faithful and execute the powers as the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of Canada. It was Justin Trudeau who helped recruit Jody Wilson-Raybould back in 2015. But no matter what Trudeau did over this past spring, he could not find a way to keep her in the Liberal fold. And he seemed to understand the danger of that even before she was gone, telling Wary in January, I totally understand that when you have powerful, positive symbols, it's also possible to have that snap back on you when you make other decisions. Wary writes that it was actually Wilson Raybould who first alerted the Prime Minister's office that a newspaper was about to publish a story about a deferred prosecution agreement and SNC Lavalin. The allegations in the Globe story this morning are false. Trudeau's first response was to say there had been no undue pressure on the former Justice Minister. Neither the current nor the previous Attorney General uh, was ever directed by me or by anyone in my office. But Trudeau then heard the minister was not pleased with his answer. And now for the first time, we are learning how the next couple of dramatic days unfolded. I have uh, met with Minister Wilson-Raybould uh, a couple of times uh, already since uh, arriving in BC. We spoke about our shared goals for our country and for this government. On February 10th, Trudeau and Wilson-Raybould met privately at the Vancouver airport, where the minister told Trudeau she was worried about how he was being served by some of his advisors, and where, according to the book, she reveals for the first time she felt inappropriately pressured on the SNC file. Trudeau says this was his reaction. My first question was, why now? Why are you telling me this now and not months ago? He says she gave no ultimatums at that meeting, so the two met again the following morning, when Trudeau tried to reassure the minister that they could figure this out, where he again said Wilson Raybould had the power to make her own decisions on the matter. Her presence in cabinet uh, should actually speak for itself. Not long after that press conference, Wilson Raybould asked for a third meeting, where she told Trudeau she was quitting. A surprise Trudeau said this at the time. This resignation is not consistent with conversations I had with Jody a few weeks ago when I asked her to serve as Canada's Minister for Veterans Affairs. Even when speaking with Wary for the book, Trudeau says he doesn't fully understand why she left. These are delicate conversations and I don't want to mischaracterize them or speak for anyone else, but I continue to not entirely understand why. Wilson Raybould would not speak about any of these conversations to Wary, citing cabinet confidentiality. But she did say this about the accounting of the meetings. You are receiving false, self-serving, one-sided and inaccurate accounts of relevant events. This is not fair. Resigning was the right and necessary thing to do for the office and for the Prime Minister. The resignation of Wilson Raybould also led to the resignation of the Prime Minister's close friend and Principal Secretary Gerald Butts a week later. Wary reports Butts had tried to quit several times before, but Trudeau would not let him, saying, I was very confident that he had not done anything wrong. I hope that I have the opportunity to speak my truth. But Trudeau just couldn't seem to give up on Wilson Raybould either, making attempts to keep her in the Liberal caucus even during her stunning testimony at committee. Asked the Prime Minister a direct question while looking him in the eye. I asked, quote, are you politically interfering with my role, my decision as the Attorney General? Even when it was revealed the former minister had secretly taped a phone call with the clerk of the Privy Council. Hello. Hello, Michael, it's Jody. Trudeau was still talking to his former Justice Minister about a path forward. Wary reports they even worked on a joint statement, but ultimately could not get past one issue. I can't apologize for something that I don't fundamentally think we did wrong, and that was really sort of the key of it. Without that admission, Wilson Raybould would not agree to the statement. The talks collapsed, and just one day later, Wilson Raybould and her colleague and supporter Jane Philpot were removed from caucus. The trust that previously existed between these two individuals and our team has been broken. Sorry, I don't have anything to say. In the book, Wilson Rabel describes her relationship with the Prime Minister as decent but challenging. But three weeks after pushing her out of caucus, Trudeau tells Wary his relationship with the former Justice Minister was never really what he imagined. A number of times over the first years of my government, I grumbled to myself that it was difficult for me to not have a Minister of Justice that I was super simpatico with. 
In fact, it was arguably the single event and relationship that caused Trudeau's government the most damage in public opinion polls, and it happened just eight months before the election. Rosemary Barton, CBC News, Ottawa.